everybody. This is Jeff with Living in Arizona, and today we're going to talk about Maricopa County and Phoenix being the fastest growing in the nation right now as we speak. Um, there is some 2017 data that we're going to pull from that said that Phoenix was just a little bit behind San Antonio, but it's looking like with the amount of volume that's occurring from California, moving to Arizona, or Phoenix in particular, I think Phoenix is now ahead of it. We've already got Maricopa County ranked as the fastest growing county in the country. I'm actually going to be doing a comparison video between Maricopa County and its southern neighbor, Pinal County, which is actually where I now live in Pinal County. 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you would have asked me if I was going to move to Pinal County. I said, why would I want to move down there? There's nothing down there. Now Phoenix is catching up to Pinal County. In fact, I was talking to a Cox Communications installer yesterday and he was saying that he thinks that uh, Phoenix and Tucson will be connected in the next 20 to 30 years. That's a big gap. I mean, that's like saying New York to Philly or, yeah, <laughs> maybe even a little bit more than that. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about that. But before we do, if you're new to this channel, Living in Arizona, we talk about things all across Arizona. You can subscribe and turn on the bell. Let's go ahead and dial this in here. Second, 2018. Uh, Article by ABC 15, U.S. Census Bureau, Maricopa County, fastest growing county in country. So this was last year, but now it looks like we've even seen a more increased uptick. Obviously, the census data hasn't come in all the way, but it's looking like Arizona is or Phoenix is really surging even faster than uh, it was previously. So there is there is an uptick. You can even see Maricopa County shows why it's the fastest growing county in the country. Last year, Maricopa County was named the fastest growing county in the country from large business developments to smaller community projects that enhanced the quality of life for individuals. Maricopa County is a place where businesses and people are prospering. This is on greaterphoenixchamber.com, the Phoenix Chamber of Commerce. So you can see here, Maricopa County's first district includes the county of or the community of Ahwatukee and the cities and towns of Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, Queen Creek, and Tempe. That's District 1. You can see District 2 is the East Valley and expanding areas, Anthem, Desert Hills, District 4. Maricopa County is quite large, but like I said, I'm going to be making that video comparing Pinal County to Maricopa County. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another article here on ARMLS.com. No end in sight for Phoenix population growth. I saw someone saying that there's about 10,000 new residents coming into Arizona every single uh, month. So it's it's really in Phoenix, I think, in particular. Uh, if you're a real estate agent in Phoenix, population growth is a good problem to have. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Phoenix was fastest growing large city in the country in 2017 after San Antonio, Texas. I just talked about this. So that was in 2017. But it's looking like Phoenix is now going to be passing even San Antonio in that volume category. Because remember, there's fastest growing cities in terms of percentage growth. But that means that uh, a small city can outpace in terms of percentage Phoenix. But when you're talking about sheer volume of population, okay, that's what you really got to look at. And let's go ahead and take a look at that on the Census Bureau data. So this was from... Uh, 2006, July 1, 2016 to July 1, 2017, you could see just behind San Antonio, not by a lot, but by a little bit there in terms of numeric increase. But this is now going to be tilting in the, in the favor of Phoenix City. You could see Dallas-Fort Worth area is really surging also. So why is Phoenix... So, booming so much. Phoenix is located in the heart of the fastest growing and most dynamic metropolitan area in the country with a population of over 4 million. Phoenix has a population of 1.6 million and is the fifth largest city in the United States forecast to be at least number four by 2020. So because there is so much growth happening, they're saying by 2020, Phoenix will be the fourth largest city in the country. Adjacent cities include Scottsdale, Mason Chandler, Gilbert, Glendale, Goodyear, and Surprise, and other nearby cities including Tucson, Yuma, and Flagstaff. The Phoenix Casa Grande Tucson corridor has been and is expected to be one of the fastest growing areas in the U.S. in the next decades. That's the area that I've been talking to you guys about that's going to connect Phoenix and Tucson. In between there is Casa Grande, which is where they're going to be preparing to build 
that Dreamport Village that we made a video on earlier. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, the Metro Phoenix economy, you've got a lot of Californians really moving here. I mean, in this community that's brand new here, at least anywhere between 25% to 50% of my neighbors are from California. Okay. Uh, every, the other, the other percentage is from just miscellaneous places. Um, and then just a few Arizona locals, but Arizona locals are, are starting to become a uh, minority in their own town because it is growing so fast. And Phoenix has always been one of those fast growing cities. Really it has. So census data shows Arizona County is fastest growing in the U S you can see Clark Clark, Clark County in Southern Nevada had the second largest gain with more than 47,000 new residents. So why am I looking at, why am I highlighting Maricopa County versus other counties? Well, because when you have Maricopa County, that includes the suburban cities, that includes the suburban areas that like Mesa, Chandler, Gilbert, Scottsdale. But some of these data points, they're only talking about just Phoenix. I'm talking about Phoenix Metro. If you were to compare Phoenix Metro versus Las Vegas Metro or San Antonio Metro or Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, those are really the big four that you got to keep an eye on for real strong growth right now. Uh, it used to be, you know, you'd see something like Los Angeles County on there, but because so many people are leaving Los Angeles and moving here, <laughs> uh, crazy as that might sound. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the, the population just because we're on that subject. So although it's the sixth largest state in the U.S. by area, it is the 14th largest state by population since becoming the 48th state. So we were one of the last states to get admitted, I believe it was 1912 or 1914, into the United States. Uh, you know, following that was Hawaii and Alaska. So the demographics, 37.1 is the median age in Arizona with females sitting at 50.3% and males 49%. So a little bit more females in Arizona than there are males. 77% of the population is Caucasians with those identifying as other races clocking in at 7% Native American and Alaskans, 4.3% African American and 3.1% Asian. In terms of preferred religions over the state, 67% of Arizonans identify under the Christian faith with 6% non-Christian faiths rounding out the top 27% and no other affiliation with either. So, you know, People becoming more uh, agnostic or atheist. Arizona was acquired by Mexico in 1848 and 1853. It was established as a territory in 1863 from New Mexico Territory. That would be an Arizona history video if we wanted to go into that. I can do one of those Arizona history videos. I think we're due for that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. Uh, let me know if you guys would also like me to expedite the Maricopa versus Pinal County. So there are some benefits to moving to Pinal County that you won't get in Maricopa because there is an effort to expand into other counties. Uh, so if you want that video and if you have any other recommendations for videos, drop them below. But anyways, guys, I wanted to outline this and show you guys what's going on with the data. And uh, thanks to everyone who's been liking these videos. Click on any one of these other videos here uh, and watch them. See if you guys enjoy them and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for subscribing and liking these videos.